Hey, I'm Adam O, and I'm back with another quick tip. And today I wanted to show you how I get the rolls in cloth, little folds and rolls that happen in, uh, in clothing and blankets and whatnot. So on this one, he's wearing a very dark colored suit, almost black. And to get the rolls in here, I first lay down a thick layer of charcoal powder where I want the darkest part of the roll to be. Now you can do the same thing with um, just by scribbling extra soft charcoal on scrap paper and then running a Q-tip through that. You can see that on my left hand side. So I just lay these dark areas in and that represents the darkest parts of these shadows. And then I go back over it with a paintbrush and then I'm just going to blend that out to make a gradient starting from the darkest parts and then blending out into the lightest parts. And again, you can do this with a Q-tip. It's just faster with a paintbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the whole area like that, and it's going to be way too light. So to combat that, what I do is I go back into uh, the rolls and I start defining them with a very, very light touch and an extra soft charcoal pencil, or you can use your darkest graphite to do the same thing. I'm just going to basically uh, quote unquote color in the darkest parts of those shadows and then just blend those out with a blending stump. I don't leave any sharp edges on here unless you want a sharp fold. Uh, what I do instead is I blend that out over the entirety of the fold making sure it's darker in the crevices and lighter at the peaks of each of the folds. Now if you want sharper uh, types of folds, all you have to do is make the creases darker and the, the bright parts, the peaks, brighter. And then you just decrease the width of the shadow. Uh, so right here I'm making thinner folds on the upper left hand side of the shirt. And then when you get to the middle of the shirt, those are much more broad folds. But I'm going to use the same exact technique. Scribble in some or scrub in some extra soft charcoal. Blend it out with a Q-tip or a blending stump and just make those gradients fade right on out. And then the very last part that I do on this one uh, is I take a paintbrush and just go over the entire thing with charcoal powder. It's gonna darken up it, the whole thing as like a unified, like a unit. And it's going to, to leave the high spots and the low spots that I just created once I blow this off of here. And you're left with um, kind of a flat material that has little rolls of cloth that, that goes over it like you would in normal everyday life. <laughs> uh, so I'll show you the finished product here in just a second after we finish blending all that in with the paintbrush and blowing that off. And that's what the rolls look like. Those are the most basic ones that I do.